A Grand Forks group opposed to a nearly $1 billion investment by the Chinese company Fufang in a proposed corn milling plant just north of Simplot has turned in their petition to City Hall opposing it. The group says they have over 5,300 signatures calling for a public vote on the issue to block it as the city council has been moving forward with the project. Sherry Lundmark in City Finance tells iNews the group needed 3,617 valid signatures to move a possible vote forward. She says there is a 20-day review process to validate those signatures. Plus, the city attorney needs to look at the actual language of the petition to recommend whether or not it's valid. Uh, the report then goes to the city council. If the petition is deemed valid, the council has at least a couple of options to either call a special election on the issue or include it in the June election. But at this point, the petition needs to go through that 20-day review process where it could be killed or recommended to move forward. Tonight at a uh, Grand Forks Committee of the Whole meeting on this uh, March 28th, the city officials said uh, they'll be using all 20 days to review that uh, petition that was filed before making their recommendation. That's 20 days after March 23rd. I mean, with all this coming through planning and zoning, I think, you know, we've got a number of people who did a lot of work and are very vested in the, you know, in knowing the outcome of that and... I think we owe it to everyone to know as soon as possible. Uh, we're going to. I, I would. Uh, we're going to use all twenty days, um, just because of the magnitude of the number of documents that came in, the magnitude of some of the. Uh, I want to give my my uh, office an opportunity uh, to review uh, whatever issues exist. I want to also give the auditor's office as much time as possible. Uh, in fairness to their office, I know they've got other matters. In fact, I think they're going through an audit right now uh, at the same time and dedicate the number of staff that they need to review the, what has been submitted. I, we're going to need the full 20 days. With that said, the annexation is a matter that is going forward. Uh, it's The annexation is not dependent upon the development agreement being in existence. Uh, it's the development agreement and the conditions are, are dependent upon annexation occurring, but it's not the, the inverse. The annexation can go forward whether the uh, development agreement or whether Fufang even uh, comes forward. Uh, and as I understand, the property owners want to go forward with that annexation.